is that, bro? <laughs> what the fuck is that? They're so tiny, though. This is an actual size. Yay big. It's gonna be a thick boy. Or, no. A long boy. It's gonna be a long boy. <laughs> is this the original? Just because I want to eat this one. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll stick this part on the Compare bar sizes. <laughs> oh, just. <laughs> I like the just smallest. The just the head. Just the tip. For once, the Asian has the length. <laughs> Yo, oh, chill. Good luck. We're going to get a ball. He said it, not me. We don't condone that behavior here at Raw or on Street. A little bit of match. Mm. Yeah. I haven't even got to the fruity pebble yet. I'm so excited. <laughs> Wait till I finish this part. <laughs> you know what this has over like Rice Krispies? A little bit more moist. I don't know if it's because it's been sitting there, but it's more, it's like creamier. Looking at it, you could just tell it's creamier. Like that cream. <laughs> That's the goal here at the streets, is to fill you full of cream. <laughs> The marshmallow looks good, but this one's not good. Chris. I keep trying to put this in my mouth, forgetting it was on the floor. Oh. But I want more <laughs> in my mouth, but I need to throw that out because that's disgusting. I already showed it. You already showed it? Yeah. These are fresh. I just came to a realization last night. I still need 33,000 followers. Seven months, bro. So if we're at the rate we're currently at. We're not going to hit 100K. 95K. <laughs> if you aren't subscribed already, go to the box where it says subscribe. Please All you have it. to do is click it. That's all. And we will love you forever because I do not want to wear a dress to the fucking Olympia. We're training that part right there. See where the nipple is? Yep. So that muscle <laughs> right behind the nipple, we're gonna OD on pre-workout, go to the gym, and get a good chest pump in. So. It's gonna start smacking me in the face. It's usually what happens. You gotta get a little sweat going first. Kinda lights the fire for you. It's like gasoline, you know? You toss it on the fire, it just fucking blows up nice and quick. But I think he's done. Picked up his phone. All right. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Give me a sign. Take a step, all right. <laughs> A lot of y'all been asking about like little stretch warm up kind of things that I do before. I actually stole this from Chris. I was watching one of the videos and I tried it. Take a band, all right? Go like this. And then you want to squeeze, like retract your scapula. Like stretch the band out, but use your back. It's gonna activate your back. So uh, you're not kind of just rounded forwards. And with your back like kind of tight and like warmed up, it'll like fix your posture a little bit and It'll get your shoulders right, so try it. PR and everything today. PR and pre, took four scoops, good <laughs> yeah. one. No, don't do that. Full stacking it. I don't think I've ever done this before. Then you so have PR on prep. It's the goal, it's the goal. I did three plates, but I only got it for 10, which is two less than the previous week. So I'm just, basically I'm just falling off, you know? So I gotta redeem myself today and try to push some heavy weight without hurting myself. 
So we might have taken a little extra pre. We might not have. But we're going to try to hit a PR today safely. All the benches are taken. Start screaming really loud. Like, oh. <laughs> is that what, is that what the trench winds do? I was watching the, the, the leg day video on my way here of me and Chris, you know, and the pad, me patty. One of the comments was, is that the trench twins dad? <laughs> <laughs> well, honestly, I could see it. I had a good laugh at that one. And, and a moment of my, to myself. <laughs> go to youngla.com look to see if they're available if they are they're very nice shorts and if you do decide to get them and use my code send me a dm with the screenshot of it because i will love you forever if you do you're gonna give them a big fat kit i don't know about that we're not on that personal level yet i gotta meet you in person first what if what if they're a person that has has met you in person though ah true <laughs> <laughs> This sounds pretty scary. <laughs> I might stick with the 130s. <laughs> chest I need bigger legs I need bigger delts I need bigger arms I need bigger hey whoa <laughs> Good sponsored pump. by pump two pump. the go to pump supplement code one code one never forget 
I literally, bro, I literally just got fucking new tires. And look at this shit. I got new tires like two days ago. It's, fuck, it's such a shame, bro. Such a shame. I mean, it's not the end of the world, but why, bro? I literally just fucking got them off. Alright, so it's super, super, super unfortunate that I just got that fucking, it's not even a nail, bro, it's a screw. Actually, no, it's not even a screw, it's a fucking bolt. Honestly, bro, I'm not even mad, like, but yeah, I just got back from the gym, I just realized that, like, on my, I was fucking right down the road, bro, so I think it happened, like, right here. Right now, I have my post-workout meal, uh, ground turkey, and chicken, per usual, um, and I'm gonna run you guys through a little... Q and A. So, when is the Vaughn Streets launch? I have been getting so many questions about the launch uh, and just like everything about it. We do not have a scheduled launch date yet. We have products coming in uh, at the end of the month, like uh, in about a week or so. It kind of just depends on uh, how fast all that happens, and there have been so many setbacks uh, like thus far. So, um, honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if. Uh, we launch like second week of May, something like that. Hopefully, uh, first week of May, um, if that doesn't happen second week. But it's so fucking close. I'm so sorry that we keep pushing the launch off, but we just got to make these 100% for you guys. And uh, yeah, that's they're basically there. So tips for starting YouTube. Uh, personally, if you knew me like growing up, I was the most like shy and introverted person. Not in a million years would I thought that I'd be doing this right now. Honestly, you just have to pick up the camera. Uh, I definitely had some outside pressure and honestly, it turned out fucking amazing, but I'm super thankful for all y'all that pushed me. Um, the Grant being the biggest one, so I know you're editing this right now. Uh, but yeah, he pretty much made me have the camera in my hand and kind of just record uh, my lifts, do like little vlogging shit. And I add bro, at first I fucking hated it, but it pays off. If you do it over time, you'll get better at it. And yeah, honestly, just stick with it uh, and you will progress. So just pick up the fucking camera. Best advice to people struggling to find that work life gym balance from the age range from like 16 to like 20, 21. I was going to school. Uh, I went to high school and well, obviously I went to high school and then I went to college as well. Um, and I was working and going to the gym all at the same time. And I'm not even going to bullshit you. Like it's, it's really hard to find that good balance of everything. Uh, but I did have a baseball coach once tell me, he said, you can do three things in life, but you're only going to be really good at two of them. Uh, so you kind of have to, not that you have to put all your eggs into like one basket or two baskets, but you have to prioritize two of those things um, and kind of, you're going to neglect one of them. I, like, I really never had a hard time picking the, the gym life over the social life just because, like I said before, like I'm a super introverted person, so... Uh, going to the gym is like a good way to, uh, at least for me, like clear my head and just like be in my zone and kind of like not be alone, but you get to like work on yourself in silence pretty much. And I really like that. Growing up, I was working at a butcher shop uh, from like nine o'clock in the morning till uh, seven, eight o'clock at night. I would go to the gym after that and I would get out at like 10 or 11. So it's like a long ass day. Um, and then I would try to go home, hop on PlayStation, uh, play some games with the boys or something. But it's, it's fucking, it's tough to find that good balance. But when you do get in a good routine, definitely like try to ride it out. One thing you shouldn't do is fucking drain yourself. So you kind of have to pick and choose your battles. Like it sucks to put that social aspect to the side, at least in your younger years, like while you're going to school, all this, like it's fucking hard. So what I think is best is like throughout the week, go to school, go to the gym, uh, and then on the weekends work and get that social life. So go hang out with your boys, um, go do whatever the fuck you want, but uh, try, to, try to incorporate all that fun shit while you're including the gym. It's not the end of the world if you do miss a day at the gym. Like if you want to go hang out with your friends, go hang out with your friends. Um, like it's not that deep. But don't forget about the gym though. Uh, and the bro, most importantly, don't forget about your friends. So try to find a good balance. Um, and yeah, don't honestly, bro, don't stress too much about it.